Hey, how's it going? Let's see what's been making news. There's been a dramatic and dangerous end to the World Solar Challenge. After racing thousands of kilometres across the country, one of the solar cars was flipped over by strong winds and another one burst into flames. Nat's got the story. It hasn't been the race anyone expected. Vattenfall Solar Team looked headed for a first place finish until their car burst into flames, 263 kilometres from the finish line. Luckily, no one was hurt. It wasn't the only bit of drama from along the race. Team Twente were ahead of everyone else when their car was flipped over by strong winds as they approached Cooper PD. Everyone is OK, our driver is OK, so that's that. I'm very happy with that. that. That's the first thing that was important. Even though there have been some big problems along the way, people are down here celebrating the arrival of the winning team Angoria. And as you can hear, they're pretty stoked to win. They made it from Darwin to Adelaide in just under five days. It was a challenge of five days, 3,000 kilometers. Every adventure we, we felt and now it feels so good for the team to be here as first. It's incredible, one and a half years of hard work. What an end to an action-packed race with an electric, well, solar finish. All right, it's time to meet Blob. Blob is neither animal nor plant, but maybe a bit of both. This strange new creature is about to go on display at the Paris Zoo, and even they're not entirely sure what on earth it is. Mais c'est un comportement d'animal. But it behaves like an animal. It's capable of learning. If we put it in a maze, it will learn and take the best route out of the maze to find its food. And don't worry, this is a time lapse. This wannabe extra from Stranger Things can only move about four centimetres per hour, but that's still pretty impressive for a creature with no arms or legs. If you like humpback whales blowing bubbles, well, you're gonna love this next bit. If not, well, that's your problem. This is really rare footage from Alaska of humpback whales hunting by forming bubble nets. They blow them beneath a school of fish to trap them and make eating hundreds at once much, much easier. Eh, I'm kind of jealous, but I don't really like seafood. What makes you stressed or worried? What do you normally have for breakfast? And what makes you happy? Well, those are the sort of questions 28,000 Tassie kids had to think about as part of a new survey. And the results were mostly good. I'm Jasmine, and to feel well, I like to speak to family members. What does it tell us about wellbeing, Chloe? That everyone's getting active. Yeah, getting active, that's a really good comment. A Karis? Everyone likes doing different things. Yeah, isn't that a great point so about The wellbeing survey found that 95% of Tassie students have a good relationship with their teachers. 87% feel safe at school, and 80% generally feel optimistic in life. But there were some worrying findings too. More than one in four students don't get a good night's sleep or have a nutritional brekkie. And about one in four feel like they don't belong at their school. People just bully me all the time and I get stressed and, yeah. Does that happen often? Uh, not, not all the time, but like um, three times a month. The state government hopes the results will show them what's working and what they can do to make life better for these guys. And this next segment's all about capturing precious and sometimes strange moments on camera. From roaming buffalo to biscuit stealing raccoons. It's picture perfect. These creatures have been caught on camera just doing their thing in the wild. The Wildlife Photography Awards judged the best animal-based pics from nomadic army ants to hordes of penguins. But the winning photo caught the moment a fox surprised a marmoset. Eh, let's not think about what happened after this photo was taken. <laughs> Check out this beautiful moment when four bison are released into their new home. They're the first bison to set foot in this part of the Badlands National Park in the US for around 150 years. Have a nice life, buffalo friends. And this little rascal made a big kerfuffle at a restaurant in Russia. The cheeky trash pandas scurried around and even posed for the camera with its delicious loot. The restaurant owners managed to eventually catch it and take it to a vet. Well, it was fun while it lasted, hey buddy. Well, that's about it for now, but if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on a BTN news break.